lifelong souvenir of Canada. I do. A Whistler, Tash. Have you ever worked at Whistler? No? How about you, Matt? I thought that's just what Aussies did. They came to Canada and were ski instructors in Whistler. Apparently, that's right. I've got a lifelong memory of Whistler. I went skiing and snapped my tibia and my fibula. You were there! Oh. You were there! Oh. Oh, no. Who? Where are you? Up here. Up here. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm good. Um, you were in Whistler? We were, were, you... right. we were with you. Oh my god, is it Kent? Yeah. Hi, how are you? That's fantastic. Thank you very much. No, I met Kent and his lovely friends on the uh, ski lift. I'd just broken up with my boyfriend, who is Canadian, fun fact. And uh, we, we lived in Australia together. I came to Canada, to Whistler, for a gig. And I was sitting in my hotel room like... <laughs> Had, I am telling you I'm not going by Jennifer Holiday on a repeat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to sing that song. Uh, <laughs> Whitney Houston, I Was Love You, and, and I'm Telling You. Two songs, nobody except for Whitney Houston or Jennifer Holiday, maybe Jennifer Hudson, Lilius White, I suppose there's a few yeah. others. But you know, by and large, people shouldn't sing those songs, especially not me. Um, <laughs> so, I picked myself together and I was like, just get, get up, get out of this bed, you're in a beautiful part of the world, go skiing. I went up to the very, 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 very top of the chairlift. It was the end of the day, so the chairlifts were closing. I got on the, the ski fields, I met the lovely Kent and his friends on the... On the and, and then um, I, I didn't know where they went. I was like, oh, did they go left or did they go right? And they went left and I went right, and it was a double black diamond mogul. But <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was in the ski shop, the lady said, are you a beginner? And I was like, no, no, no. Like, I've skied once before. Like, <laughs> and so uh, I, I, and I tried like snow plowing and I twisted off to the side and my, my leg went sort of backwards and the ski was still attached. And, <laughs> Well, I didn't realise it was broken until they took me down to Lionsgate and made me sign those documents. As, just as they give you all the drugs, they're like, hey, sign this. And I'm like, oh, I'm so <sighs> So I woke up with a new pair of tits. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, they did it through the nipple and then they took them back out and it was all fine. But I digress. Uh, that's my, that's my, my memory of, of Canada. But I hope to make new memories, less painful, less surgical memories this evening with you all. And, um, and thanks for coming, Kent. And friends, who else is here? There's a group of us, Scotty McDougal. Hi, Scotty McDougal. <laughs> oh, okay, just a group of two. <laughs> Remind me not to go to any of your orgies, Kent. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there playing spin the, bottom, uh, spin the bottle with <laughs> three people. A triangle does not make it an orgy. Um, <laughs> although, speaking of, Steamworks, one of the, the world's finest bathhouses <laughs> right here in Toronto in your own backyard. Well, it was ten years ago. Is it still, is it still the happening place, boys? No, today's youth don't do that sort of thing, do they? They're too moral. They don't know how to have fun. They don't know how to get dirty and loose like we did in the late 90s or the 80s. Um, <laughs> 70s. Um, but tonight I'm going to sing you uh, some songs, starting off with one of my favourites. And you know, it's quite queer for me to be here at this time of year and it's snowing and the Christmas decorations are up and everybody's having a festive time. You know, Christmas in North America is, is just really strange for me because I'm Australian and, and right now in Australia it's summer. And, you know, little boys and girls and, and gender-fluid toddlers <laughs> are beginning their summer vacation. And, um, and in Australia, we're actually told that when Santa Claus gets to our part of the world, he trades in his red velvet Santa outfit for something more weather-appropriate. And uh, he gets rid of his reindeer, and he gets six white kangaroos to help him on his way. And we even have a, a song, a traditional Australian Christmas song called Six White Boomers. We sometimes call kangaroos boomers. It's not baby boomers, so don't get excited, Kent. Um, but um, not everything's for you. Um, so, oh, also I forgot that uh, at Christmas time in Australia, it's the peak of bushfire season. 
And I can't tell you the number of Christmases I spent with my family just curled up in the den, watching the dark night sky glow Christmas red oh as the flames consumed the homes of our neighbours. <laughs> Good times. Oh